let's go ahead and get into them. The starts of the week. Starts of the week. Every week we prepare docs for the show, you know, that we reference during the show to, to keep us on course. You know, we like to not get too sidetracked, get, cover all of our bases, get every bit of information to you. And so there is a section of our doc for the starts of the week, and we go in individually. We identify the guys that we think we should start. And we're not allowed to pick the same a guy, guy that someone else has picked for these. So it's kind of a race every week is my point to get into the doc and, uh, you know, I, I put I got in first. I put mine in, and then I sent him a note and say, "Don't forget your starts of yeah. the week. Don't forget your starts of the week." So I'll kick it off then with uh, with let's the start. running back. Let's start sure. with the running back because of that. We'll go running backs, and my start of the week is <laughs> it's, it's Chris Johnson. Chris Johnson of the Arizona Cardinals at Cleveland, and they are thirtieth against the run. And Chris Johnson, even in spite of his rollover sixty yard, you know, go, uh, you know, run last week. Jaunt is the word I was looking for. <laughs> it was a jaunt. Uh, I like Chris Johnson a ton this week. I know you guys do as well, so I, we don't have to him. linger I, there too I've much. I've got him as a, as a top 12 back and really like him. He was the clear start of the week that I wanted to pick. And I, when I wanted to pick nobody else, I still almost picked him because I really like that pick, Andy. Instead, because he was taken, I actually have a little bit of faith. Yeah. I'm talking as an RB2. Okay, yeah. I'm not saying you're going to get the bee's knees. But in Darren McFadden against, yes, the Seattle Seahawks. Good luck. Uh, here's here's why. I think his baseline is very high. He's going to get Mr. McFadden. i am for two yards. Yeah. So if he runs for, you know, a good 2.9 yards of carry, as I expect him to be near. He'll get enough usage as they're committed to the run. I'm he's totally going fine to with him as a guy. two this week. And he's also, when the game gets out of hand, he's going to catch the ball. Let me, so let me say something. If a half point or a full point, I like him. You, you need to be more like on board with your start of the week. I mean, you need to be confident about that. I am. I think he's going to be an RB2. I'm saying that people aren't confident in him because of the Seattle defense. Okay. All right. Mike, who is your running back start of the week? My running back start of the week because he leveled up last yes, he did. week. He he came out and he was... Evolved. Evo evolved. Thank you. Yeah. He was he came out and he was a Charmander, and now he is a Charizard. Okay. And, and that that's is... And Kendrick West, the running back of the Kansas City Chiefs. He was in for 87 and a half percent of the snaps goal line carry and so clearly kansas city was not lying they were not bluffing about this when they said that west will be the guy he put up 110 and one on what was a supposed to be a very strong pittsburgh Steeler running defense the lions are very porous against the run and i just i think it's a great matchup for uh for west to continue on all right why don't you go ahead and give us your quarterback start of the week my quarterback star of the week, I'm giving him one more chance. One more chance for Matt Ryan because I think the matchup is just too tasty. They're going up against Tampa Bay. Uh, and Tampa Bay, last week, we saw him give up three touchdowns to Washington, four to Jacksonville the previous game. I think that the the Falcons, moving forward, will need to refine that groove they had going in the passing game. I know that they're, they're having great success right now with Devonta Freeman, but... I would hope that the Falcons see that or that Freeman can't sustain that kind of a workload. You can't have him touching the ball 25 to 30 times a game with that frame. Maybe you can, but in my personal opinion, just watching what happens to other running backs, you can't do that. So they need to get uh, Matt Ryan back on track. Yeah, Julio Jones might catch five touchdowns this week. Uh, That'll for, work. For my quarterback, uh, I mentioned him in passing earlier. Jay Cutler is my start of the week. He's at home. He's got his tools back that he hasn't had for a while, and I think he's got a decent matchup. So uh, I am fine playing Jay Cutler this week, and he's available. He was also my stream of the week because he's available Ooh, double in, down. in almost all leagues. So get him and play him. I'm taking Matt Stafford at the Kansas City uh, secondary. Yeah. yeah, because the Kansas City secondary they they've stunk against the pass. I'm gonna buy into the fact the new offense just plain has to be better than the old offense. It's just a, you know, the a, JBC. A you know, when the water's all the way out of the glass, you it's either out of the glass or it fills, and so it's got to get a little bit better. 
Uh, so I, I'm I'm okay going Stafford in this game. We talked about Tate and Calvin maybe getting uh, some more targets this week down the field as well. They're going to focus on the downfield passing game. So my wide receiver start of the week is actually Tavon Austin. It I'm gonna, interesting. I went down the line a little bit, okay? And so this is your flex play. I'm okay flexing him at home against San Francisco. San Francisco is 30th against the wide receiver position. Gurley is opening things up for that game, and Austin has actually strung together enough semi-consistent games of late to give me a, you know, some confidence in him. This is approaching Mike Ditka levels with that one. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so Tavon Austin is my uh, start of the week. I'd be okay flexing him this week. If you want uh, a confident uh, Jason start of the week, well, you got it here. I am very confident in this start of the week, which is Dante Moncrief yeah. against yeah. Carolina? Carolina's great pasty. Wait, what? <laughs> but Jason... Josh. Oh, is that the voice of public opinion? <laughs> that was. The what voice does the voice of public opinion say <laughs> about your uh, your pick of Moncrief? They say, but he's going up against Carolina's the third best pass defense. And I would say <laughs> that's a new voice, public opinion. <laughs> However, public opinion, what you have to look at is Josh Norman is incredible when it comes to covering wide receiver ones, which is why I've got T.Y. Hilton as like my 40 something wide receiver. But because of that, you have a great number two here that's going to be able and going to need to catch passes. If you look at the games that Carolina has played, they have given up only two big games the whole year. One was week one to Alan Hearns, not Alan Robinson. And one was week four to Vincent Jackson, not Mike Evans. Gigantic games. So I expect Moncrief to have a good game here. If you've got him, you're probably him and Hahn because of yeah. that Carolina D. Put him in. That's great. Uh, I'm going with Martavis Bryant. Uh, I, I, Big Ben is back. Yes, it's a it's a tough defensive matchup against Cincinnati, but there's just there's just too much. I think the Steelers have too many weapons, and Antonio Brown has got to. Th- I don't think there's a happier person in the United States of America than Antonio Brown right now. Saying my quarterback is back, I'm finally going to be an elite wide receiver again. And you 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 have to defend Antonio Brown. You have to defend Le'Veon Bell, and I think this just opens things up for Martavis Bryant. And he does what he does. He does alien things with the football. I love Bryant. All right, so that leaves us with the tight end position. Mike, kick us off. My tight end. I'm going with Ladarius Green. Uh, Philip Rivers has no choice right now, none whatsoever, but to throw the ball. I think Antonio Gates will be out. Uh, he's trying to find that MCL that he's so enamored with. And Ladarius Green, if if you look at his numbers, even when Gates was back and they're both tight ends were playing, Green was still giving you very capable tight end weeks. Uh, it's Green is one of those elusive guys that we've been waiting years for him to break out, and it's it's happening right now. People aren't really talking about it. This is the breakout. This is what is happening right now with Ladarius Green. So I love him. Uh, if, assuming Gates is out, if Gates is in, then he's still a good start. But. So my tight end uh, start of the week is a, a a mostly forgotten about man right now, Crockett Gilmore. You could probably get him on your waivers. He started the year strong, got injured, and was dropped and was forgotten about. I think he's got a baseline of 5 for 50 this game going up against a very suspect uh, tight end defense in San Diego. They're going to be throwing the ball a lot to, ke- to keep up with Phillip Rivers. And I think he's got – if he's searching for that touchdown, he gets in. I've got him as my number six tight end this week. I'm going to go ahead and stay in the old man flames with Ben Watson. He's been pretty consistent this season. The Giants can't cover the tight end position. And so I think we'll see another kind of, you know, in the same vein of what Jason said with the baseline being fairly high for Watson. He's been targeted a lot. They're actually playing pretty well. The Saints are playing a lot better than they had been. And so I like Watson as kind of the pass catching uh, tight end target there. So Ben Watson, my tight end start of the week, and I that, dig it. that wraps up our starts of the week. Well, you guys got anything else going on? Uh, We've got you know like a minute left before the show's got in. We got the daily dose tomorrow. Daily dose coming up tomorrow. Yeah, we'll have, we'll have that. Yeah, let's preview preview tomorrow's show. So we got the daily dose. We the got rest the rest, of the rest of the games, and we got our man Joe Juan. The FF underscore scientist is dropping a hot. Whew. Yeah, it's hot. It's the one believable stat of the week. Hot staying in the flames. Yeah, so we've got good stuff for you tomorrow. Be sure to check out the website, thefantasyfootballers.com, where you can submit your questions directly to us. If you've got an urgent question, 
We can get back to you quick. Let us know about it. Thanks for listening to the show. Thanks for those iTunes reviews. And we'll uh, we'll go ahead and catch you tomorrow. Sound good? Uh, it sounds great to me, guys. I don't know. What do you think about it? Sounds good. I'd Let's love do it. to talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> I'd gladly pay you tomorrow for a hamburger today. Goodbye. Thank you for listening to another edition of the Fantasy Footballers Podcast. Don't forget to visit us on the web at www.thefantasyfootballers.com and follow us on Twitter at the FF Ballers.